All right, it's only wrong. I need to stop saying all right every time I start a video. Please. It's only wrong when men do it. My question is, do you feel that a woman who intentionally gets pregnant... I, sorry, I need to stop here. I really love watching videos like this because I like to share my opinion as well about these topics because we live in a society and in this Asian time where we really need to speak up, especially women who don't agree with some women out there. Just to trap a man should get full child support or if there should be some kind of punishment. Wow. Ooh, punishment. Wow. Serious Dude, question. Those words don't even sound right. First of all, I don't know no man that can really be trapped. Okay, stop <laughs> using these excuses. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? You have no idea how many men get trapped every day, whether in marriage because they have children or history or pre prenup agreement, whatever. You shouldn't let the child suffer because right. of it. Meaning. What if that lady truly needs, you know, child support? Child support yeah. right. and, and things happen. Yeah. Our favorite did. If a, if, a, if a woman really needs child support, support, I'm sure that will happen. But majority of the time, it's not the case. Time Talk Show is back. And we have a new host. Please welcome the newest member of our family, the new co-host of The Real, Amanda Sia. Adrian Bailon has lost weight. So, Tim, would you ever say that, like, sometimes I can talk a lot? Like, would, have, would you ever say that? So you'll be the bull, yeah. and I, I'm not going to lie, I would eat cereal out of your mouth. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> we have women who clap between every word. Constantly dating men who can't get their life together. That needed clap emojis in between. We have women who hate doing the dishes. Washing dishes, I just don't like doing really? it. It's so annoying. And we can still keep it real. But let's keep it real here. <laughs> so I want to use this video as a chance to point out politically why things are the way they are. There's an old quote that goes roughly like this. Every nation gets the government it deserves. This thought is why I don't spend too much time focusing on politics, whether that's personally or even on this channel. That's actually because politics... sad because there are so many nations out there trapped by their own government and saying that they deserve it is really, really harsh word. They just, it's so hard for them to actually change it because they are trapped in it. Don't matter. <clears throat> it doesn't matter who the president is. Oh yeah, I didn't know about this show either, guys. Like, I can't recognize some of the people in the show, the hosts. Uh, from movies, some of them are actresses, um, but I don't know this show and I don't watch this type of show. Usually it is bad, you know, like I don't like it. It doesn't matter who's in Congress. It doesn't matter what political party <laughs> is in power. If the nation is full of bad people, then the government will be corrupt. If the nation is full of good people, then the government, or preferably lack thereof, will be good. Nah, bro. That's why social engineers spend so much time breaking down the family. That's why they prop up single motherhood. That's why they prop up welfare. That's why they prop up recreational drug use. And that's why they are trying to kill morality. All of those things turn people into bad people. And bad people don't say anything when the government is corrupt. Bad people are all for the government when it does evil things that they like. Bad people in general don't mind immoral behavior as long as it helps them. For example, Red Lobster was definitely trending just last night, and you're not going to believe why. So Twitter user Robles kind of understand what he's trying to say. She had with her man after he got angry that she. Let me just hear again. Twitter user Robles Tiona posted a recent argument she had with her man after he got angry that she wouldn't take him to Red Lobster. Where Check it out. What so she we? offered to cook for him because she didn't have a lot of money but he made it very clear that he only wanted Red Lobster. And if that she wasn't willing to treat him to Red Lobster... Don't ask me what I want to eat and then tell me to pick something else ever again. Sheesh. I don't like the way you talk to me at all. I'm offering to get you food and going out of my way to do so. I also get you what you want. I'm sorry that this time I can't. I'm not your... And if that's how you want to try and treat me, treat me, I will be quick to be out. Nah, I'm cool. You heard what I said. Don't try to play a position you're not fit for then. 
I told you what I wanted to eat. If you have a problem, then be out then. You're clearly not on my level and can't afford to support a man of my caliber. This is just an asshole man. I never in my life experienced a guy like this. I never saw anyone behave like that. That Crazy she's dude. not on his level and that a king shouldn't have to lower his standard. A true king would take his queen to Red Lobster <laughs> and pay for the meal if he wanted to go. And pay for the meal. Did we not talk about this last time? Oh, that badly. When oh when are people going to point the finger at themselves first when they describe a behavior they don't like? How many more women than men would this describe if I replaced he with she and king with queen? Most people are going to do what they can get away with. The reason women can get away with this- oh, Yeah, like in that text, if the woman was talking, all the other women would be like, yes, queen, you deserve that. Stand corrected. Don't let them, don't, don't nudge and stuff like that. They would support her. Behavior more often than men is because they have more sexual marketplace value. Men are attracted to most women, but most women are only attracted to the top men. That mindset leads to a power imbalance. Really? Most men are attracted to any women out there? They don't have standards? Men have no standards. Is that what he's trying to say? Balance that heavily favors women. They can treat you like shit because if it doesn't work out with you, then tomorrow they'll just find some other guy who's begging to give them free stuff. No, that's because he broke. See, this is a classic yeah. <laughs> work dude yeah. that is trying to use re yeah. reverse psychology yes. Yes. to make yes, you sir. feel yes. bad because yes. he broke. Thank you, Lonnie. Wow. So if a guy is broke, you are welcome to make fun of him for not having money, not being able to support you. For describing women's behavior so accurately. Now, if there is a situation mm -hmm. where the roles are reversed, then there's a reason for that. Women don't support broke men. Women don't buy men food on dates or pay their bills. Maybe they do it like once in a blue moon, but if there's a chick who is consistently offering to pay for things, then there's a reason for that. Now guys, this is a picture of Mr. Red Lobster's girlfriend, Tiona. Tiona is the one on the right with the long yellow claws. Now, judging by this picture, can you this. guess why she would date a man who is mad at her because she refuses to pay for Red Lobster. How about this photo? Does this explain it? Yet while claiming to help Tiona during the segment, the cast members of The Real fail to point out the obvious, which is that if she wants access to better partners and to not die in 10 years, then she should just lose weight. They also don't mention I'm sorry, but what is this guy talking about, bro? <laughs> so because she actually has extra weight, she doesn't deserve a better man? I am exp Yeah, I'm exploding in 3, 2, 1. I am expl I don't agree with this guy. This guy is so mean. If she's not gonna die, if she doesn't die... Like, yeah, I can agree it's not healthy to be overweight. There is so many complications. But there's a lot of women who have extra weight and they are fit and healthy. More than skinny women. More than some skinny women. So it's really, you can't just judge by looking at someone. You really can't judge by looking at someone. I mentioned another obvious point, which is that women stamp their feet and pout like this to men all the time. How many women expect by default that a man has to pay for the date, despite the fact that she has a job? How many women would get pissed if they were taken to McDonald's on a date instead of a fancy restaurant? I mean, they laugh at the guy for being broke. Really? How many broke women... Yeah, but the problem is that... Um, the problem is that if you ask a woman on a date and you promise her something big, then she's going to expect that. But if you ask her on a date to walk around a park and talk with her, she's not going to expect anything. You know? And it's... Typical. I don't know. It's it's very hard. It's what you promise from the start. It's how you approach the situation as a man as well, you know, and the women you choose to go on a date with. And fifty thousand dollars of credit card debt act exactly like this. It's only bad when men do it. It's only bad when the behavior doesn't benefit women. Look at how delusional this Tiona chick is. In a tweet, she says, 
Let me also add, I know my worth. I know I'm a good-ass woman, and someday the energy I give will be reciprocated. Interesting choice of words here. I hate to break it to you, but it's already been reciprocated. You complain that this guy treats you like- Okay, this man is broke, struggling to make rent and pay his shit off, and complain to me all the time like I was going to fix it. I would let him complain all he wants but wasn't going out of my way for him besides referring people who want to tattoo to him. Like, it's literally, guys, he's just a bad guy who wants to use you. You know, he can see that you like him and he want to get his way. But it's the same with both genders. It could be also the other way around. And if you're the man or the woman who is with a person that asks you to do this stuff for them because they think they're better and that they deserve that, just leave them. There is plenty of other people who don't behave like that. Like crap, but then you go and blast all of his deeds all over the internet, using the N-word, talking about how much of a great catch you are. If you were a good-ass woman, you wouldn't be presenting this kind of wretched behavior. You got the kind of man you deserved. But I must stress again, it's only wrong when you do it. If they do it, it's perfectly fine. It's fair to say that most women hate being mansplained mm -hmm. to, right? Yes. For you guys. There is this convention that might be taking this to a whole nother level. Uh -oh. um, it's a convention in Orlando, Florida, which is uh -oh. a seminar. Uh -oh. I know. My well, hometown. it's it's <laughs> it's run by all men, Surprise. which promises to quote make women great again. Wow. <gasps> wow. Yep. And according to. Hmm. This sounds interesting. To Ooh, the New I... York Post. Wait for it. Wait for it. The seminar will have men teaching women to do things like how to land a husband, <gasps> how to lose weight, how to pop out a bunch of kids. And get this, you guys, the cost of the seminar Don't. is $2,000. Stop. <laughs> yes. Well, it says the world's ultimate event for women. No, but it, it also crazy. says with a trademark, make women great again. Full women. We're already women great. Not great. We're already yeah, that's really mis misogynistic. Be great. How it's do you terrible. think he got? He's already know it's be great. Jeez. Do you think these women understand what the word hubris means? There is no better sign of a pathological woman than one who has to shout to everyone about how great she is. Anyone who is satisfied with the way they are is just telling you that they spend no time on self-improvement. As for the point on mansplaining, during my last video on The Real, I called out the double standards because Tamara Mori says she hates it when men play the victim card. I'm sorry, but double star I hate double standards. I always call it out. I really dislike it. And it is really present. Really, really present nowadays. It was so- That's why I like to watch uh, videos like this. But here, I don't agree with any side, to be honest. I have my own opinion, and I definitely don't agree on, uh, with both of these sides easy to find her playing the victim card that literally the first mm. video I found while researching contained Tamara doing so. Based on what was said about the 22 convention, the cast of The Real doesn't like it when men explain to women what is attractive. Real nice, by the way. It shows that you and- I think it's completely fine to, for- not to explain. Uh, more like share their opinion you know like when you explain something it's as if you have a pro like a definition of something and that is the true definition of that word or that thing and there is no debating about it that's when you're trying to explain a fact basically you know um <coughs> let me snooze the ad for a second um but i would rather say like share your opinion or your view on what is right and what is wrong and then you can agree or agree to disagree the women who watch your show have no intention of doing things that men want. But anyway, it was so easy to find examples of the real cast women explaining about how men should be that I had to stop watching videos because I ended up wasting time collecting too much content. Men aren't just stubborn with the directions. They're stubborn in a lot of things. Yes, they like are. Men have and women are stubborn too. I have a really hard time saying I was wrong. I feel sorry for this guy. <laughs> this guy's sitting there. Why is that guy there? <laughs> I'm sorry. And mean. I'm sorry. Yes, they do. I never heard anything so dumb in my whole life. First of all, <laughs> let me tell you something. A real man is not intimidated by a woman that doesn't need you.
I agree with you, Adrian. He actually isn't independent. He's codependent because his validation is based on women needing him. Boo, that's not a real man. That's a weak man. I want to tap out men adjusting themselves. Do you guys catch that in public? What is that? A lot of women nowadays say they want a nice guy, but do they really mean it? Look, somebody's, yeah, we really mean it. No, they don't. No, they don't. Like, they, no, they do want a nice guy. They truly want a nice guy, but they never end up really liking a nice guy. Because for them, a nice guy is a boring guy. Is a guy that is gonna do everything for them. They don't have to try hard, you know. They're, it's not challenging enough. So it is a game for girls as much as it is a game for, I mean, for women as much as it is a game for guys. But it's two different games. Yeah. Nice guys are boring, okay? I agree with this survey. No. They're no. predictable when no. they call you every day and they, how you doing? Like, once they give you everything, it, there is no challenge of you trying to uh, get your way or, I don't know, seduce them or something. That's the game. I'm talking about the start of a relationship or the start of dating or something like that. Later on, it doesn't matter. Actually, a nice guy is what you want later on in life. No, 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 sometimes don't call me, okay? If an idea is immoral, then it's immoral. If a woman says that it's wrong for a man to explain a woman's intentions or teach them how to be, then it's wrong for a woman to explain those things about a man. But as a group of feminists, the real have never been about applying the same principles universally. People, feminism means equality. Yeah. It does not mean that you are out there raging for women to be better than men, that you dress a certain way or, or say that we're higher. No, when you're a man... And exactly, I agree. It's about equality. It's not about you being better than a man. You're a feminist. You say, I look at my partners and we're equal and That's I want right. to pave the way yeah. so that you get treated just like us. Actually, if wanting to pave the way for women to be treated just like men is the definition of feminism, then I have to say that I'm America's number one feminist. I would love it if women were treated like men. That means if a woman hits you or throws things at you, knowing that society won't allow you to defend yourself, then you can hit her back just as if she was a man. That Why did he went that far? I understand equality in feminism, but in specific cases, not in every case in the world, not in every case, in cases that, in my opinion, really matter, not that matter for humanity and for growth and, and in that part, you know, to make the world a better place. Not in the fact that if I hit you, you hit me. Why the negativity into it? That means no more gender quotas for company board members or affirmative action hires. That means women can't get out of a prison sentence by crying. Gosh. I agree. Women should not be out of a prison sentence for crying. If they committed the crime, they should equally be uh, prosecuted the same way as a man. Jeannie, you've, you've vastly changed my opinion of this show. I am all for women getting treated exactly like men. Because that's what this is all about. Making sure the standards are universal. Otherwise, certain groups will always have an advantage and things will never be equal. The up with women does not mean down with men. Yes. Yes. If you are a woman who wants to legislate equal pay and you don't want to work as many hours as men do. No. See, that, exactly, no. Work the same hours, give the same results, earn the same money. Nothing in between. Then the only way to get equal pay is to force men to work fewer hours or pay them less for their time. The only way to make a woman as strong as a man is to make the man weaker. If we are playing basketball no. and I'm a better player than you, then the only way you can make us equal is for you to handicap me. Nah, this guy is missing the point. Do you really want that? Do you really want to hamstring our most productive people just so that you can feel equal? They probably also, but they're probably also racist, homophobic, transphobic. You know what I mean? Sure. I feel like this is the gateway to the. They're really scared of women. You know, that's Ooh. the reason why we. Wait, wait, wait. He took this out of context. Like, what is this woman talking about? Who is she mentioning as homophobic and this and that? He, he just takes things out of context in the show and makes us think that she's talking about all men. Uh, probably she's talking about a specific situation or something. We haven't a had a female women. present 
a, a female president yet. Look at all the other countries that have had female leaders, and the United States still has not had a female leader because you have a lot of men that are afraid of the power of women. Women are phenomenal. I am phenomenal. I am sorry, but there were so many female women leaders in other countries that didn't accomplish anything. Nothing. Like, they did the same as if, if they were a man. They just are different gender. Politicians are politicians, and it doesn't matter if they are a man or a woman. Like, all of them are going to do the same thing. And in They're mostly, like, 99% corrupted, and they don't do shit. And... Even a president of America does it. What does the president? He, he can't do anything. He or she, they can't do anything by themselves. They literally, even if they want to change stuff, it's so hard for a president to change stuff because they have so many other people in the back that have to accept the reality or whatever they want and move on. Like the people who rule the country are not the ones in, on your TV. That's the thing. Like they are not the ones that you see on your TV, especially in America. And, but we, as women have to understand that. Yes. That's what Michelle yes. Williams, the white Michelle Williams was saying <laughs> at the Golden yes. Globes, is that women have to understand their power. They yes. have to get out, they have yes. to vote, they have to do what they need to yes. do. Yes. It's funny how Amanda can use ad hominems to attack the 22 convention, and then immediately after, Lonnie basically tells the audience, with Amanda's approval, that everyone should go out and vote women into power. Vote women into power, just because they're women yeah it like no don't vote them just because they're women what do they bring what do they do why why are they better it doesn't matter what their ideas are their character doesn't matter their past actions don't yeah, matter as does. long as it's a woman versus a man the women should get the vote this conversation thread started out by you guys saying that identity politics is bad but then you immediately promote identity politics so let's see what happens when I replace the word women with white men. Look at all the other countries that have had white male leaders. You have a lot of women out there who are afraid of the power of white men. If those two statements sound racist and sexist to you, then Lonnie's comment about men being too afraid to vote women into power is sexist. But I guess I'm the one who's wrong here. Because these identity politics groups have been campaigning for the better part of a decade to make it look okay for them to be racist and sexist while making it completely unacceptable for other groups to do the exact same thing. Black people can't be racist because racism is prejudice. Oh, yeah, they can. Oh, they can. Oh, they can. Everyone can be racist. Plus power. Black people aren't in power, and black people can't be in power because of systemic racism, so black people can never be racist. No, they can. These are mainstream leftist ideas. Have you ever heard a more demeaning statement that is frequently said about black people? To all my black listeners, these people have been calling you losers for years now. They are saying that you can't achieve power because you are black. They are not your friends. Some Did he forget what color was the president of America a couple of mandates back? Like Someone would only promote a racist, demeaning idea like that if they wanted you to fail. Bro, this guy is trying to turn something on. I'm telling you. <laughs> He's trying to manipulate people. Anyway, let's get back to the idea I started the video with. Oh yeah, The let's purpose go. of my videos is to show everyone examples of good or bad behavior that are easy to spot. Just like when you learn a new skill, you are always going to start with the basics, and then later, you can see those basics being applied in much more abstract and subtle ways. That's why in this video, I've shown you examples of double standards that are very easy to identify. So on that point, people only like the government as long as it's doing the immoral things that those people like. I've heard plenty of people talk about how awful family courts are. And yeah, it's terrible that the government would force men by penalty of imprisonment to pay child support. I've seen those same people who hate family court say, you know what, we should ban soda because soda makes people fat. No, that's wrong. And it's wrong for the same reason that family court is wrong. Using the government to force people to do things is immoral. The government pointing guns at people for every little reason is immoral. You don't like paying property taxes for useless schools that just indoctrinate children? Well, then stop saying we should use the government to do this. So ask yourself, do you actually want these problems to go away? Do you want men to stop? 
he is trying to start a revolution. He's like, the government is not going to help you. If you, want, if you want change, go out there and get it. By all means. <laughs> Dude, don't listen to guys like this. They are just trying to brainwash you. Getting screwed over in family court. Do you want men to stop getting screwed over everywhere else? Then start figuring out how to solve your problems without using force. Oh. And with that said, that'll be enough for this video. And where did you explain how would they use power without using force? Literally the first example, he said, you want men and women to be equal, then when a woman hits me, I'm gonna hit her back. That was like, that, that was his example. Listen, guys. This is the best thing that I can tell you. Educate yourself. Learn, 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 learn. Read, 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 read. And don't take just one man's perspective. You have a brain. Think. Read. Listen to different people, different perspectives, and make your own truth. Think with your brain and feel what for you feels like the truth, what for you feels like the right thing. That's why we have a gut. That's why we always have that saying, my gut tells me so. So if your gut tells you that there is something wrong in that, or what that person is saying doesn't sound right, then it probably doesn't. And you should not listen to that person and you should move on and try to find your own truth. So that's my opinion. Mm -hmm.